Hey, this is Max, the musician's friend. We're here at NAMM 2020, and we just stopped by the Akai booth. We're chatting with Andy. How you doing, Andy? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And we are looking at the brand new MPC-1. Andy, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, certainly. So we announced MPC-1 literally yesterday, and absolutely incredible product for us. This is the first time that we can actually bring the MPC format into a whole new generation of beat makers and producers. So it's a desktop solution. It gives you the whole standalone workflow that has been iconic for us over the years. It's taken, you know, MPC Live and MPCX really took standalone production into the hands of pros, mid-time producers, live performers, everything. So now all of these guys who are into making beats for the first time that want to really kind of push what they can do as a producer, they now can move into the standalone platform. But also with some of the things that we've added, we've kind of added stuff like CV gate onto the hardware as well. And as you know, the, the whole modular rack system out there, electronic music is really vibing now. So it gives like the doorless producers also a desktop solution. And one thing I will say can see in the market is that, you know, space is an issue. You know, people are always after a compact, you know, standalone sequencer that can kind of manage all of their modular and you know module racks so this is a great solution for them so obviously coming in at a more attractive price points great it's going to open up to a lot of people but it's not necessarily a, a beginner product the fact that it's got connectivity for modular means that you can kind of grow with this as you expand your system whether it's with a kai or anyone else for that matter um, what are the most important or exciting features, workflows, what have you, that someone who's considering this might might be interested in? Yeah. Well, I think the, the kind of people that you know make beats who are starting off for the first time are really knowledgeable already. So what this gives, this is giving like a tactile workflow. It puts feel and dynamics into your production, right? But also we've added key features that we're all accustomed to already. So you have audio tracks on board. So if you want to do kind of vocal production or bring in stems and acapellas, you can do that. We've got step sequencer. So for all the guys who want to kind of go for more of the electronic based stuff, you've got a very powerful step sequencer, but also we have step automation. So you can automate any parameters, but you're interfacing with the touch UI as well. So, you know, we all use touch on a daily basis now. So it's, it's, it's so powerful to be able to do that, but then you can actually use all the control knobs on board and you can assign everything as well. So you, it's very hands-on and it just, it puts you back in the driving seat of being creative. So, so bringing Empathy One to the market, it really brings the family of products together. So like I said, you, you're looking for it's moving into professional production for the first time. You've now got an affordable piece that gives you all the standalone and workflows from MPC Live and MPCX, or you can move up to the, the real pro piece. Very cool. Do you want to give us a little run through of it and show us what's great about it? Yeah, let's have a closer look, yeah? So here we are on MPC-1. Now, the first thing you notice is the 16 pads. Now, these are full RGB, uh, velocity and pressure sensitive. Now, one of the things that we've added to the hardware is all these tactile buttons. And this really does speed up the workflow massively because you can jump in and out of all of the key menus now. So we can go straight to sample edit, go into sample record. We go program edit. We can go straight into our grid edit. We can go into no mode so if we want to do kind of chords and progressions we're we're there so you can bounce between all of the hot controls or go straight to the UI so this really does let you kind of interact with the with the hardware in a really fast way so you know let's also dive into some of the key features now it's not just about you know making beats with MPC now you know with audio tracks on board as well you can now bring in vocal acapellas and everything so if I go to audio tracks we can go through some of our vocals we can use the touch UI we can see all of our vocal parts and then we can start treating this like you would with your DAW so you can we can we can actually move parts around the screen so you can really interact with the type of tracks that you want to make so let's go to some of the kind of the more urban stuff that I've got in here so let me play you this now I've, I've assigned some of the key air effects to some of the instruments that we've got on here so here if I open up my channel strip I can go straight into my effects I've got full control over compression, channel strips, EQ, filter gates, everything. And my touch capacitive knobs will follow me round the whole screen all the time. So when we go into Q links, I hit screen. And now when we're in this mode, I can jump between all of my Q links, have full control over 
any of the parameters that I want to use. So let's look at kind of some electronic production. So I'll go to a sequence and I've got a basic kick run in here. So what I can do is just jump between my sequences. So let's select say a hi-hat. I can literally just draw my steps in, do my velocities. Now, add in stuff like step automation. So if we were driving some modular racks directly out the back, we could start actually dialing in the parameters that we want to automate. So for instance, let's say, let's take, let's take this snare for instance. So I'll take this snare and I'm just going to record this in. Now, what I'm going to do with that snare, I'm going to hit my pad, I'm going to go to an effect, and let's just go to a reverb, and you'll hear that straight onto the snare now. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to automate that. So I've got my snare, double tap on my velocity, and I can add, hold on, go back on that. I'm going to double tap on my velocity. Sorry, my hands are sticky. Hold on, let's go again. I'm going to double tap on my velocity here. Come on. That's it. Add new, go down to pad 06, go down to insert air effects, and we'll go down to mix. So when you're on your insert, there it is, mix, you can see it's come up on our icon. I draw it in, and so you can control the amount of reverb and how you want it to come out on the track. And now we've got that running, we could technically go to, say, a new track, go to key groups, and we could bring in some samples, go to our notes mode. And we can start recording. And now we could go to our chords. We could look at all of our notes on here, and then you can select all your notes using the UI screen. We can take stuff off the grid, move the quantizing and everything, add effects. So the workflow basically goes through so many different genres. All right, Andy, if someone wants to learn more about how MPC One and just the entire MPC ecosystem works, where can they uh, learn more from you guys? So we've created a whole series of videos called the MPC Beats Academy. And what that gives you, it gives you an insight for using the platform from the ground upwards. So if you, you've never used the platform or you might even be familiar with it, and you want to know aspects of different features, this resource will give you everything you need to know. Great, thank you so much. And if you want to learn more and order yours, head to musiciansfriend.com.